Clearly, LeBron James has been waiting to explode on the NBA scene for over 16 months now. But exactly who is he? And what can we tell you about LeBron James? When I was living down in the projects, you know, it's hard times. You see everything from crackheads, you know, to drug dealers, to gunshots every night, to police sirens. And I think it just made me strong. How good is LeBron James? Well, simply put, Dan, LeBron James is the best high school basketball player I have ever seen. And I think as a 17-year-old, he's better than Kobe Bryant was at the same age. Why? Because he is just as skilled as Kobe Bryant was, but he is more physically imposing. At 6'7", 235 pounds, he is a man right now. And he's got an extraordinary skill level. He's also a brilliant passer, a guy that can play with other people, find teammates, and create shots for others. He's got a maturity level that most kids his age just don't have. cover of USA Today, the cover of ESPN Magazine last year on Sports Illustrated's cover. What, what do you think? Is this too much or is it too much pressure for you? Well, I think it's no pressure for me. I think um, if I come out and play my game and get my team involved in the game, you know, it's a lot of notoriety for me and my teammates, but I just go out, play my game every night and give it our all. And if we give it 110% like we did tonight, no, it's no pressure for us. How do you feel about all that? Like, well, uh, are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? How many college guys or NBA guys can make that? In transition, finally an opportunity to show the elevation. <laughs> He's the truth. That's what we're talking about. Instincts. Feel for the game. I mean, that is just so special, Bill. We have put him on a such a high pedestal that he can't live up to it. Even if he's successful, there's going to be those who say, well, he didn't do this, well, he didn't do that. You know, that's not fair. He's only 17. With the first pick, the Cleveland Cavaliers select LeBron James. about the LeBron James story. Most of us have only seen film clips and parts of games. Great opportunity to see this young fella in person tonight. What a great player he's going to be. You know, one of the best parts about him is his athleticism, but also they're counting on him to be a leader. He wants to win. He's won every year he's been in high school, but this is the pros. He has the weight of a franchise on his shoulders this year to turn them around. Here is the man of the hour in probably the most anticipated debut of any first-year athlete in any sport. Do you know who that was, of course? Uh, we are Steve Berthume and Steve Levy along the way. Two words headlining Wednesday night, LeBron. And enough is enough. <laughs> Finally, we not only turn off the hype machine, but we throw it out the window. Time to see what all the fuss is about. Here he comes the other way. There's your first change jam of his career. Just, oh, my goodness! It's a sports center highlight. James Alley up, throws it down. James right down. Oh, man. I, I do think that LeBron James is the real thing. He is as good as advertised. Almost superhuman effort from LeBron James with a career high 41. This reminds me very much of young Michael Jordan, who in his first three years in the NBA was unable to get the Bulls a winning record. Well, last time I was about 6'8", and, uh, you know, everyone's trying to know how much I weigh. I'm about, you know, we look at like 250 plus, yeah. Well, click, click, get ready for your Kodak moment. Oh, oh my God. Here comes LeBron James. Here's James for three. You gotta be kidding me. Are you kidding me? Drink away for the Cavs. Gets it to LeBron. James at oh. six. Oh, my. Oh, oh. and James to the rim. When I watch this guy play, 
up close and in person as well as on TV, he is clearly the league MVP. Oh! At the buzzer! This boy has been balling. He's been in the best condition of anybody else. He's been focused night in, night out, like a locomotive coming at you, has been LeBron James. This has been some kind of performance by this young guy. The last three games, in the fourth quarter, he has been spectacular. Takes a three over Johnson. Blocked by the back. James Alley up, throws it down. down by one. Max Steele defending on game. The problem is oh, Max stuck. He has scored 27 of the last 28. James for three. Yes. Oh, goes behind the back. This is unbelievable. This is Jordan esque. This goes down as one of the all-time performances in NBA history. LeBron James has all the star power there can possibly be. I mean, he's 22 years old. He's getting to the finals way ahead of Michael Jordan. This kid came into the league with more scrutiny than anyone since Patrick Ewing, and he handled it very, very well. Yes. Tonight, two teams take the NBA's biggest stage. We don't want you on our team. Says, not on my watch, big fella. Goes to the step back and hits. <laughs> That's 41 points for LeBron James. Right at it. Oh, man! At the beginning of the season, before it started, I said he could end up winning league MVP honors. It means nothing to me. He's got to get it done. He's got to get the ring. The San Antonio Spurs are NBA champions once again. This is not a good look for LeBron. I think people are kidding himself about LeBron and his chances. LeBron could stay in the East, get to the finals, lose again. I'm convinced that LeBron James will never win. Blocked by James. James gets inside. Oh, beautiful moves from LeBron James. Grade his performance, an overall grade for LeBron James in game six. What is it, Skip? Well, I'm going to give him a D minus in a do or die game on the road. A game that, that people had favored them to win from, from the start of the playoffs. LeBron James had nine turnovers. The Boston Celtics with the huge upset. They advanced to the conference finals. He had a terrible game, didn't seem passionate about it at all, and is being considered a referendum on LeBron's entire NBA career to this point. You know what he looked like? What? He looked to me like a guy who knew he was leaving town. I was Absolutely. stunned. They were signaled by LeBron James. He's not engaged at all. Right. And Cleveland fans wondering if that's the last time he'll take off a Cavalier jersey. Well, everybody is on pins and needles across the country, particularly those teams who are in the running for LeBron James. You ready to go, LeBron? Do you have any doubts about your decision? Um, no. I don't have any doubts at all. Well, you've had everybody else biting their nails, so I guess it's time for them to stop chewing. The answer to the question everybody wants to know. LeBron, what's your decision? Um, in this fall, man, it's, it's very tough. Um, in this fall, I'm going to take my talents to South Beach and um, join the Miami Heat. What you can never prepare for is fallout or the outcry of someone hurt. And in this situation, it was a state that was hurt. But his name is now in the hall of shame in Cleveland sports history. But the lasting memory of tonight will be this shot, his burning jersey in Lakewood. We've supported him for seven years now. And for him to go on there and drag us through the mud for seven years and stab us in the heart, he deserves everything he gets. I hope he never wins anything in Miami. But we also know you three kings came down here to win championships. Not one championship. Not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven. Oh. Do you regret how it ended? Did you like to apologize for the way it ended? I don't want to apologize. LeBron James and the Miami Heat at Wicked Loans Arena on a night unlike any other. And I've never seen an electricity in a building and the intensity in a building for a regular season game. I dare you! The 
fans had their say tonight, what would you like to say to them if you could? Uh, seven great years. Um, loved every part. Um, loved every moment um, from the growth when I was an 18-year-old kid to a 25-year-old man. And, um, um, you know, just continue the greatness for myself here in Miami and uh, try to get better every day. Well, I'm viewing it as the weakest move I've ever seen from a superstar. Plain and simple. That's just how I look at it. As you said, you feel the hate. You sort of feel all this and people burning your jersey on TV. Right. What does that turn you into? It basically, you know, you start to hear the villain. You know, now you have to be the villain. And you, um, you know, and I started to buy into it. You know, I started to play, uh, play the game of basketball at a, at, a, at a level or at a mind state that I've never played at before, uh, meaning angry. We all admit he's the most gifted player in the game today, but we have never ever seen a player this gifted who flames out and fails so consistently in late game situations. Look, what you've been doing, as great as it is, and as great as you are, ain't enough. And the celebration will begin. The Dallas Mavericks are NBA champions. The first title in franchise history. An unlikely playoff run capped off by Dallas upsetting LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, and the favorite Miami Heat. If you don't get it done, you I mean, I don't care. I don't care what he does in the regular season. I, he's my league MVP. I don't care. He could come in the first round, the second round, he's the conference finals. I don't care. I care about what you're going to do in terms of putting rings on your finger. It is time. I'm tired of this man being celebrated. For what? We know you're great. How about winning? You know, when you try to do something or try to become someone that you're not, you know, it can change your habits. It can change what you've practiced all over the years. It can change the way you, you know, believe in things and see things. You know, I believe so much that I was a villain. You know, these guys going after Batman, you know, I believe that. I've spoken to champions. I've spoken to Hall of Famers throughout my career. I, I and they talk about the price that they paid in order to win, to be crowned champions. And this guy is walking around like he won the title. It bothers me. Enough. You've got to get it done. Period. Stay down for a bit. You know, when you fall and you fail so many times, you just say, uh, you know, you kind of just look yourself in the mirror and say, well, you know, what are you going to do about it? Back out to James, another three. It's good. James knocks it down. not a kid anymore. He's a grown man. He conducts himself like a grown man on the court. In terms of being a leader, the level of focus is definitely elevated. You know, you got to look at him and understand that he no longer has that proverbial monkey on his back. 
where championship has eluded him, where people are still questioning and wondering when is he going to capture that elusive ring. All of those things come into play to contribute to him being far more improved than he was back five, six years ago. Three on one, James. LeBron James. drops the anvil. Look out for Oh! The house of highlights. To James, throws it down. Wade finds James. That's rude, folks. Oh, what a block from James. James on the attack. Goes to the rim. Look out for Here comes a show. LeBron, you are constantly faced with the din of noise from the outside. How, when everybody is coming at you, do you keep your head and perform at the level you do? For me, I can't worry about what everybody say about me. I'm LeBron James from Akron, Ohio, from the inner city. I'm not even supposed to be here. That's enough. Every night I walk into the, the locker room, I see a number six with James on the back. I'm blessed. So what everybody say about me off the court don't matter. I ain't got no worries. LeBron James, we saw him put up a triple-double and got knocked out in essentially a five-game sweep. He can't play any better than he played last year. I don't know if that looked like fatigue. To me, it looked more like frustration and emotion. When you pour so much into a season and you're six minutes away, from another team winning the championship, it can it can it can bomb you. Know? I think a lot of recognition that it's over. When you put 350 or so million dollars into three players, you're demanding. If you're the owner, if I was the owner of that team, I'd be demanding they win. And you cannot overstate, Mike. This is about the collapse of the Miami Heat. You have a guy with three MVPs and no rings, and people are saying he's the most overrated guy of all time. Today, what you got is people saying, wow, how many is he going to get? Are, are we nearing the end on this yet? No, we're not. This is like where Michael Jordan was in, like, 1993. No, there's, there's chapters and chapters to come. I mean, he's still a young man. He's got half his career to go. We should, I, I got him playing another eight or nine years, certainly five or six at the top yeah. of his game. It's the second time going through all of this for LeBron James. The last time, you may remember, he had teams come to him to make their pitches. But this time, James is leaving the initial legwork to someone else. His agent is meeting with multiple teams. How serious should we take this? This is serious. You know, LeBron James is a real free agent. Scenes that I'm seeing from LeBron's house outside Akron, where yep. there are, is like a, almost like a religious experience developing. People are pilgrimaging <laughs> there yep. and gathering. This to me sums up the LeBron experience in, in Cleveland. The moment LeBron's decision was revealed just before 12.30 this afternoon, fans downtown around the queue went into a frenzy. It's as if the fans were saying, welcome back. For all the success he found with the Heat, there's one thing he couldn't replace, Ohio. People that came to me and said, LeBron, you got to do what makes you happy. I'm going to do what makes my city and my state happy. And that's why I came back. I love you. I'm back. The last sentence is the only sentence that really matters. The last sentence is, I'm ready to accept the challenge of coming home. And what he means by that is I'm expecting the challenge to bring a championship to Cleveland. LeBron James, the high hand on, threw it down, up top! 
Cleveland Cavaliers, here are the pros. LeBron James, you have the best player in the world. I don't know if Cleveland has the depth to deal with what Golden State is going to throw at you. Steph Curry's pulling up the minute he walks past half court, it seems. James knocks it down. Tops it long distance again. But I think it's a better than 80% chance that Golden State's going to win. I can't see how Cleveland's going to come back from this. Irving falls down, and Kyrie Irving is hurt, lifting up the floor. And the dream season is now complete. The Golden State Warriors are the 2015 NBA champions. We haven't seen the best of LeBron yet. Now he's taking off. Wing and taking it so look out! LeBron gives Cleveland the lead. Back to James. LeBron James as an individual player is just better. He's bigger, he's stronger, he's doing things that has never been done before. James! He fills the stats up across the board, night in and night out. You're talking about a kid who can easily average a triple double if he chooses to. Inside! Rattles the building! Again. Now he understands, just control the game. See, it takes a special person to know how to control a game. Oh! Bring it into New Year, LeBron James! work inside! He rocked the rim! James a long three! Bang! On the fall back! Wow. That's not fair, LBJ. So the basket and throws it down. Long distance, again! Clay said? Clay said, I guess he just got his feelings hurt. <laughs> LeBron James showed up and said, I'm not ready for this to end. I'm not going to allow the reigning defending NBA champions to celebrate for a second consecutive year. Alley up to James, and he throws it down. He showed up last night. Fresh off of a 41-point performance in Game 5 at the Oracle, he returned to the queue and did the same thing against the reigning defending champions. And James throws He blocks right Steph Curry's shot and then turns around talking smack to the reigning two-time league MVP. And I suspect that come Sunday night, LeBron James is going to make his presence felt emphatically. And Golden State is going to have to have an answer for that. This 
This is what Game 7s are all about. The NBA gets what it wants. The NBA fans get what it wants. We certainly get what we want. And it's two MVPs going up against one another. And I couldn't be more hyped about it. I love this. This is why I cover the NBA mm. for the last 20 years. For moments like this. The Cavaliers become just the third team to force a Game 7 when down 3-1 in the finals. LeBron James looked as cool and as ice cold as they come when it comes to somebody being in this moment, along with the pressure that comes with it. He doesn't seem phased. He seems focused. He seems ready. James fakes, James drives, James finishes. Down 3-1 on the brink of elimination. The Cleveland Cavaliers are now on the brink of history from becoming the first team in NBA history to overcome a 3-1 deficit and capture an NBA crowd. Smith passed right through the hands of Curry. James, a two-handed slam. You're a guy that the NBA basically has placed a mantle on your shoulders and essentially said, carry this league into the next era. Did you ever feel like you didn't want that responsibility? Uh, no. I've always wanted to be the leader. I've always wanted what everybody else didn't want. I'm controlling my destiny. I want, when I be done, I don't want people to say, well, he ended up the same way as this person or this player. I want people to say that LeBron James did it his way, and now he's a legend. Each team has a foul to give as we come up on a minute remaining. I'm sitting on the bench watching the play, and I see the fast break, and I was like, oh, fuck. And all of a sudden, because I'm watching the head of the play, and I'm watching this thing happening, and all of a sudden, I see a black blur go out of nowhere. Oh, fuck by James! LeBron James with the rejection! Take it down into the rim. Oh, oh my great game. block! James out of nowhere skies to the rim. Irving and Curry, one-on-one, -on -one. Irving puts it up, it's good! Kyrie Irving comes Cleveland is a city of champions once again. The Cavaliers are NBA champions. And the emotions for LeBron James, who delivers on his promise to come home and bring a championship to his beloved hometown. When I came back to bring a championship to the city, I gave everything that I had. I pour my heart, my blood, my sweat, my tears to this game, and against all odds, I don't know why the man above gives me the hardest role, but it's nothing the man above. Don't put you in situations that you can't handle. Instead of saying, why me? They're saying, this is what he want me to do. And, uh, Cleveland, this is for you.